Hello again, everybody. I am rigging up a crane on the uh, Dodge Ram here. Now, if a few of you probably remember, uh, a few years ago, I put in this uh, lift on this porch for these two elderly ladies. And they had trouble because they had a lot of stairs to carry their groceries up and all that. And I put this lift in to help them get stuff up and down. One of those ladies has since passed away. The other one, it was just too big of a house for her and she has moved on. She moved out of that house. Well, the crane was still there and she said she wanted me to take it because she sold the house and they're gonna tear the house down anyway. So she said, uh, you should probably take that if you want it because they're gonna demolish the house. So that would just be gone. So I thought, well, what if I use it for its purpose, but uh, with using a winch on it, like an electric winch, instead of the boat crank that it's supposed to come with, you know, like it's a hand crank winch. I ended up going into, and getting it, and I have rigged up a couple of things on here. Let me bring you over here and I'll show you what all I've got going, and we'll put this thing together and we'll give it a try and just see what it can do. I think it will be a very handy addition to this truck. Okay, so here is the post kind of sticking up. It's sticking up pretty tall. I'm not even sure if this is one of the cheap Harbor Freight ones because this looks pretty heavy duty. Now it's got all the reinforcements here and all that. Now, okay, I drilled down through the bed and I was thinking I was going to get a piece of metal bigger than what this is to put on the bottom here to kind of space this out and strengthen all this. What I found out, on this truck anyway, right here, going across, that is right, these are exactly in the center of the, the uh, structural support that goes across here. So those two bolts, that bolt and this bolt that are on that side, those are very, very strong because they are into that structural member. It's not just just the bed itself. Now over here, there is a seam going across where the metal is doubled up right under there. So not only can I still not get a, a flat piece of metal like that in there, but it is very strong. So this thing doesn't move. Now this one, it's just through the bed and I've got a big like oversized washer on the bottom of it to help strengthen this one. So, you know, that's about the best I could do without completely re-engineering the truck. I got underneath the truck and I welded the bottom of each one of these. So all you have to do in order to take this completely out of the truck, take these four bolts out and it just picks up out of there. And these bolts just stay there. And then whenever you're ready to use it again, slap it on the bolts, tighten it up and you're done. Okay, one thing that I do intend on doing if this thing moves around very much when it has a load on it, I have a piece of angle that I'm going to bolt to that or weld to it and then bolt through the bed. I would prefer not to do that. It's got a couple of like self-tapper holes, but no big holes here. Um, but that would add a little more structure to it. I may end up doing that, but for right now, I'm gonna try it without it, but we'll see how that goes. Now over here, what I have, um, this is the original arm, and there used to be, this is where the hand winch used to mount. What I have done is I have mounted a receiver hitch on here, and over here is my winch. Now this, I've used it a lot. This is welded to a receiver hitch. And I'll tell you the welds on that, they are the same welds that's on here. And that is strong enough that it will stall the winch out before it, you know, it doesn't, it's never broken. Let's put it that way. So I think my welds will be fine. But this slots into here and that allows the winch cable to come out. Now, the reason I wanted to have the receiver hitch mount on the truck or on the crane is because there are times that I want that winch 
down in that hitch or in another vehicle's hitch. So if I have, have it mounted on here, I can pull it out of the crane here and I can stick it in the, the hitch on the back to use it or I can stick it in the back of another vehicle. Now the battery is not gonna mount down. That's why I got this piece of angle iron here. This battery uh, sits right perfectly inside right there. That will keep it from moving, keeps it contained and all that. And then when I get all this on the crane here, which this needs painted, but I'm gonna wait to paint it. Uh, I may hit it with a little bit of paint after I get it tested and stuff, but for right now, let's see if we can put this thing together and uh, see how it works. All of this just pins together with these pins so it's easy to take on and off. Okay, so that is the basic assembly. As you can see, it rotates all the way around, which would be handy. Now, the winch just goes Just like that. And this feeds right through those. And you can hook the winch up to back there when you're traveling. Okay, so there we go. We have our crane all hooked up. You can see the end of it there, how that all works. Here's a little remote. I'll probably get a different one. I'll probably get a wireless one. But you just pull it. Okay, so here we have four concrete blocks. Starting with a relatively small mode here just to see how it handles it. Okay. Okay, well that's not too bad. I'll show you the flex, how much flex we got when moving something around. Okay, so you can see it's right against the bedside right here. That is with the blocks over here on this side. So I'm gonna swing them around and I'm gonna move them over to this side and watch the gap that we get there. Honestly, that's not too bad. It's a little bit of movement, but and I think if I did brace it up against here, I think that would help it. Pick it back up. Yeah, I think it could use a uh, another mounting surface right there. So we may just go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got this little piece kind of cleaned up and shaped a little bit better. Still not straight, but 
you know, it's okay. Now, I also kind of scrape some of the paint off here and we are going to just tack that on there. Now, one thing I don't want to do though, is I don't want to tack this on with, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah that needs to go down there. I don't want to tack this on and then let that slag and stuff just go down the bedside. So what I'm going to do, I got this piece of plastic. I'm going to take this piece of plastic and put it under that metal, just like that, and weld it like that. That way, maybe I'm not messing the bedside up too much. So let's just see how this works. Okay, so I just got this welded right before the uh, rain started pouring down. So had to take a little break. Now I'm going to lift this up a little bit, swing the load around to put it this way as far as I can so I can bolt it with the bracket pulling it as tight as I can. So let me lift this up and spin it around here. So, let me make sure the hole's big enough. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to reinforce it a little so I have one of these pieces of metal. I've got the bolt. Okay, so now I may eventually turn this bolt around where the nut is up here. But now, yes, I know we have a hole in the bedside. I really didn't prefer to do that, but it's okay. Now, I'm going to swing this load over. And of course, it doesn't go anywhere okay so now we are very sturdy does not move does not even flinch but let me find something else to test with could it work for a tow truck plastic piece will hold it, right? Okay, here we go. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't try to uh, lift a car with a contraption like this. Now, possibly, well, no, the winch would stall out before it could lift the car, for one thing. For another thing, what you would end up doing is you would end up putting a crinkle in your bed or possibly breaking the weld off of here. This is just a joke, don't, don't do this. But I do have another thing that I would like to try to lift and I think it shouldn't have any problem at all lifting it. So if you're asking the question, will it lift a car? Can I use this for a tow truck? That all depends on what you are qualifying as a car. How about a Jeep?
Okay, so if the question is, will it lift a car? I'd say yes. Now, I did notice, yeah, when I lifted it up the first time, <clears throat> it was kind of pouring gas out of the tank. It was just running down, so I figured I'd better set it back down. But anyway, yes, this should be a very handy little piece of equipment that I have here. Um, if I had a way to hook to the back and the front of this Jeep, I could load this Jeep in the back of this truck with this crane. I can load all kinds of stuff in the back of this truck with this crane. I think this will come in very, very handy for me. Uh, another thing that it does, let me show you. Okay, so when you get ready to stow it, turn it around where it, where it can ride without moving. Okay, you can swing the whole thing around. And right here, there is a hole that goes all the way through. Now you need a pin to do it, but you can locate the hole and get the pin in there. Then put your clip in and now it is locked in. It can't go anywhere. That is my little modified Harbor Freight pickup truck crane and I do believe this is this thing is going to come in very handy for a lot of the cases of stuff that I do hope you all like it let me know in the comments what you think about this if you think this will be a handy addition to this truck if you think I destroyed the truck by drilling a couple of holes in it um, you can put that down there too anyway I guess that's gonna be about it for this video I appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next